At the end of Majora's Mask, we summon the four giants and save Termina from being destroyed by the moon. We are then warped inside the moon to confront Majora for the final boss battle. But what if this isn't the inside of the moon? What if Majora's intent really wasn't to destroy Termina? What if it's something far more terrifying? I've never seen the inside of a moon, nor will I probably ever, but this isn't at all what I would imagine it would look like. We have a single tree, a normal looking sky with plenty of light, clouds, and a never ending field. What if this wasn't the inside of a moon at all, and it's actually where Majora was sealed, similarly to Ganondorf being sealed in the Sacred Realm? It would make sense as we are taken here to fight Majora. What if that giant rock falling wasn't really the moon at all? What if it was just a manifestation of Majora's own emotion? which is why it looks so angry, yet we see the tear fall from it. When the moon says, I will consume, consume everything, the plan wasn't to destroy Termina with the moon, but to trap the citizens that live in Termina inside the, quote, moon, where Majora was also sealed for revenge. Majora is just using the moon as a portal of sorts. When Link is warped to the field with the tree, we can see sort of an aura around him that teleports him. We can see a much larger but still similar aura around the moon when it's smashing into Clocktown. Could this aura be teleporting all of the living people to the area inside the moon? And then it crashes onto Earth destroying the land and Termina, only killing those who weren't warped. If this is true, then it makes Majora even more evil. He doesn't just want to kill everyone, he plays tricks on them and curses them while they're still in Termina. Then after causing all of this damage, he transports them to the sealed realm where he was trapped, so instead of dying, they will all live in torment and suffering, forever, just as he was doomed to himself. <laughs>